The call object is another way of mapping input into output. And I'm going to try this. I'll use the simplest example here. And we'll enter into integers. Um, enter integers into the call object and see what comes out of it. Uh, now, the thing about the call object is that it's a data structure and it allows you to define the mapping between the input and the output. So once you have this down in here, you can actually double click on the call object in run mode and then use this format right here, where this is the index, the input, and then what you want in the output. All right, so zero, let's say we have 158, and we'll skip three, and then we'll do 10. So that two, it won't respond to a value of two coming in. Let's check this out. Close this guy, save it. Yeah, sure. And then here we go. Zero. Four came out. Yeah, one. Two, notice that you didn't see a bang there. Three came out, and 10. 